Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl by Ella Party Heaven. Guys, welcome back to another not uh, creating tutorial. Um, I decided to just like use this period before I get back into doing practical videos to like talk and let you guys know like the theory aspects of the balloon business. Um, remember, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I will reply to you. Send me a DM. And another thing, if you're not subscribed to this channel, guys, what are you waiting for? Statistics shows that just only 85% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. And it's just the remaining like 15% that are subscribed. Guys, if this channel has blessed you one way or the other, or if you enjoy my videos really, please make sure, double check if you're subscribed or not and then click the notification button below so that YouTube will notify you and would also get the information that people actually love to see my videos. If that statistic doesn't increase, this channel will not grow. Do you want this channel to grow or not? Please help me. And so also, if you'd like to support my videos in any way, there's a button below that says thanks. It's like a super thanks kind of a reaction where you can support my channel with whatever you can um, so yeah that's um, the, the the sign is just below just by the subscribe button okay guys so today's video um, question was sent by two different people one is Marcos and because I have their names written down and the other person is Crystal Hernandez so the question from Marcos is um, Oh, is it Marco? Sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. Um, so his question was how to build a dialogue with a client, what what needs to be said, and how to build a lasting relationship. So, right, um, the best way I can answer that question is um number one, for me, I always um maintain my professionalism, which is really important because um being professional, but at the same time, being friendly because some customers would um, not like to relate with someone that is too like uh, rigid. So you have to have, and you know, with text, especially if they are contacting you via Instagram or social media, text can be kind of like funny. It could come back in a funny way. So you need to make sure when you're, ha you know, having that first conversation or, you know, uh, interaction with that client for the first time, you need to make sure you're making them feel comfortable chatting with you because you're going to be part of their memorable day. So you want them to feel comfortable and relaxed in the first instance. Um, and so you said what needs to be said and how to build a lasting relationship. So I've meant, I've answered the part of what needs to be said. Building a lasting relationship is, you know, it starts from the first minute you start talking to that client up until the event day, you know. Some clients, they want to talk to you, you know, constantly to be reassured that everything is going to be okay. So you need to make sure you do that. Another thing I always do is, um, I don't, yes, I want to be paid but I don't make it seem like it's just all about the money. I need to make sure I make sure I I I I give that friendly approach to that client. Um, yes, it's business, but like I mentioned earlier, some people just want to feel really comfortable. They want that person. Even for me, when I'm like approaching another business, it is how you respond to me on the first day that would make me actually go ahead and book you for whatever I want to do. I like uh, a business I'm approaching to be kind of like friendly, um, approachable and not too rigid. So some people do not mind. They want you to be professional and um, really rigid. But because of what the kind of sector we are in, where it's all about relationship, you know, um, you need to be wary of how you, you know, you give that first approach. Um, and I also build that lasting relationship because a lot of the customers that still come back to me, they are customers that have done their parties from many years ago. I've had 
a customer from 10 years ago. I have a customer that I've actually done at kids' parties. Every year they have a party. And I'm sure it's like that for a lot of people. So you need to make sure you have that great relationship. Um, also, also when the event is done, I try and reach out to the customer to get a review, you know, to see how the event went. And if there, there's any, um, um, you know, mistakes or whatever that would have happened, um, I make sure, you know, I apologize and rectify that. Okay. Let me give you an instance. Uh, many years ago, like, like when I first started doing events, I had a client that I got late to our event, you know. I had two jobs that day and I, traffic and all of that, it messed up my timing. I got there late and I couldn't do what I was supposed to do. Guess what I did? I refunded our money. Yeah? I gave her our money back. Despite still being able to like, you know, do a bit of what she asked me to do. But I got there late. So she deserved to get her money back. Guess what? The client still comes back to me to book for our events because I gave her, you know, I, I, I was thoughtful in my approach. So yeah, you need to make sure whatever you're doing, you know, in that moment you're relating, interacting, make sure you are professional at the same time, not too rigid, if you get what I mean. If you want more, you know, understanding in regards to these questions, let me know in the comments section. So the next question is from Crystal Hernandez. Uh, so Crystal has asked, advertising, how to attract clients on social media. So with social media, it's crazy. Um, for me, um, with the way especially Instagram, the algorithm and all of that, the way it works, it keeps changing every time, which is really, really annoying. And honestly, I am not stressing myself over Instagram anymore. Um, in the past, I used to get myself worked up and all of that. Now I just do what I have to do, which is make sure I post daily. I don't post and just you know, don't post for the next few days or whatever. I make sure I post daily. You can try doing Instagram ads because there's so many business fighting to see just a small amount of people. So you need to make sure you do not um, skip your posts. Make sure you, and when you're posting, make sure you are interactive. For me, I've, I've gotten tired of doing all of that but i think it really it still works make sure you're sharing you know people want to see behind the scenes of what you're doing these days they want to know what's going on and how you came about that so if you can just do little video clips of your creations while you're doing it upload that you know the finished products try and share you know um sharing works to when you share information in regards to your business. You don't have to share too much, even if it's just a little bit. People want to see that. That helps engagement. Um, so yeah, so, and then make sure you're using all the, you know, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you know, Twitter, whatever it is, you know, you have access, make sure you're using everything. Use Snapchat. And above all, the main thing is word of mouth. Trust me, I have, businesses that are not even on social media and they still get booked it is because the number one secret behind a business is that word of mouth which is still you know it still works so make sure you're leaving a lasting relationship with that customer you've done something for yesterday so that she can like promote you to the next person that is the number above social media and everything. Word of mouth works like magic. So make sure you're not losing that part of word of mouth. Social media, great. It is where everybody is, it's where you can be seen easily. Just make sure you're posting daily. Um, check your insights to know when people are online more in your area. Try and do Instagram ads. Make sure your content is not just about bye 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 come and patronize me make sure you're um you're giving something back basically and try and let your pictures be you know really top notch clear and instagram worthy basically 
uh, with balloon artistry. I think it's all about colors. So when you get the opportunity to like create something that has to do with really good colors, make sure you share it as much as you can. Um, so yeah, I think that's a little bit I can share in regards to social media. Thank you guys for um, joining me this afternoon. Uh, so this is going to be the last um, chatting video for now. Next week, we'll get back into uh, doing tutorials again. Remember, if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, help my channel. You can support me with the super text below. Ask more questions. If you have more questions, we can still carry on. Just let me know in the comment section. And so also, guys, I want to know what you think about the pricing video. Has it helped you in any way? Let me know in the comment section. Um, so I'll see you same time next week. I've got some videos I've recorded that I'm looking forward to share. So make sure you stay tuned. And I'll see you same time next week. Bye, guys. Bye.